back to life is Aisha. I feel like my top 10 is going to be much different from everyone. It's not the typical all Jordans, all Nikes. I mean, it's mostly Jordan Nike. Well, it's mostly Nike. But, um, yeah. So, I have the boxes here stacked from 10 to basically 1. Just giving you already a hint. Um, if you've watched any of my videos, you probably know it. But, I'm just going to get right into it. So, number 10 is going to be a new model, basically, to the Nike family. I feel as though it was kind of underrated in certain regards but also i feel like you know a lot of people that i know did grab this model a lot of people were on to this model not necessarily this exact number hint hint but just the model as a whole that's what it stood for so this is the box like i said before you should already know what it is and it is the nike um space hippie 4 this was the lemon venom colorway and show the inside of the box again it was such a, it was such a dope box i love the whole rollout of this sneaker basically the sneaker and um i'm not going to spend too much time talking about each sneaker because i've already done reviews on most of these sneakers i really liked it i do think it was slipped on what was the cool thing about this sneaker was that my picture that i posted like my kicks of the day pick it was actually featured on the nike's website so if you go to nike.com and you type in space nike space hit before you will see hopefully it's still up there <laughs> You will see like a pic of my kicks of the day on the website. It was nice for Nike to ask them permission to use my picture. It was pretty cool. You know, nothing super big, but you know, it was cool for me. But um, yeah, just giving you a little 360 of the sneaker. Right along to number nine. This colorway was just so like out there and crazy in a sense. And I really liked it. I knew that I had to get my hands on it. It's a New Balance box, so you probably can guess it. This was a sneaker that I feel like every woman this year got. Like, I don't know too many people that wanted this sneaker didn't get, get a chance to get their hands on it. For the Neo Flame um, New Balance 327 model. And um, the sneaker speaks for itself. Now, this sneaker, if you know anything about it, it did come um, in three different colorways. It, you have the green colorway, you have the reverse camel colorway, and then you have this one, the orange duck camo colorway so um it comes with two different pair of laces it comes with the like retro hang tag here um that just says nike air on it it's just a really dope um pair of shoes this, this is new to my channel i've not i haven't done a review or anything on these so you basically get hits of camo all throughout it it definitely gives me a bait feel i like this shoe i love the color orange i love camo so two of my faves in one sneak we're on to number seven this was a pair um and once i started talking about it everyone would be able to guess it because i did a review on it earlier in the year this was a pair that was super nostalgic for me um i ended up getting it in january this year it was a gift to me so it definitely didn't come out in 2020 but i got it in 2020 so technicalities you know the little things that helped me out <laughs> And plus, um, I should see I have sneakers stacked behind me, so I really didn't want to go through every box and really pull out all the ones. So I kind of cheated a little bit with my list, just being honest. Um, I was able to grab these pretty quickly because I wore them not that long ago. So these are the women's Air Jordan 8 Retro um, White Aqua 8s here. This was a pair that I always wanted. Like I said before, I've already done a review on these, so I'm not going to hold you all. But... Here's the 360 of them. Coming in at number six, this was a pair I got these during All Star um, Weekend releases. Can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? These are the UNC to Shy Ones? Let me grab the pair that has this such of a dope hang tag that is leather. Um, I love this sneaker. A lot of people felt their way about it. Um. Obviously, I do feel like the version of this shoe that was the all patent leather version, that was the men's shoe. I did kind of like those better. But, um, y'all know how hard it is to get Jordan 1s. It's, it's a fight. It's a fight to the end. But, um, this pair right here, I love the quality of them. I'm a big stickler on quality. Most of the shoes I've showed you, they may not be the hypest shoes, but they are definitely there like they they really hit those points with quality i don't see any flaws in the shoe i wore these sneakers one time it's a dope pair of sneakers um i love the unc carolina blue here 
love the red um, toe box it gives that uh, very much so bread like color blocking right there on the toe love the hang tag a lot of people are not fans of hang tags I know when I used to get Air Force ones back in the day the hang tags I used to wear them and then by the end of the day they were all lost or what have you but this one stayed on I know hang tags can get lost especially if you're like walking and you're not really paying attention you can lose it and not even notice but um so yeah. I hope that you are still here. I hope you are not skipping through the video. Like this is drum roll, please. <laughs> be able to guess my top five a little bit, I would say. If you know me, then you can kind of figure it out. Cause like I haven't got a whole lot this year. So <laughs> you should be able to know like what's coming in the top five. So the cool thing about this number five, it just were delivered to me today. So what's the irony of it? Now, you're probably thinking, you waited till those came to do your video. That's honestly not what happened. Like, I, I wish that I had that in my mind, but no. I was really putting off doing this video. I've been running crazy pretty much since Christmas, trying to get stuff together, trying to get my mind, headspace together. Before the new year, I've been really in a manifestation mode, really like writing things down, my goals and all that stuff, stuff that y'all like has nothing to do with this video, I know. But anywho, so this pair just came to me today and it's such a nostalgic pair. These are the Nike Air Max 95s OG. Sneakers are just beautiful. Like, you know when you open a box up and then you just kind of like really just look at that pair and like, wow, like, I really like this shoe. And that's this sneaker right here. The one that I know, she was gracious enough. She had won an extra raffle. So she let me know. And I was like, yeah, sure. I want that size six. These are just so dope to me. They're so nostalgic. They're so classic. I don't even know if the camera is picking up on how bright this neon is. It reminds me of my Telerias. The insole is the same neon. The sole is neon. It has Nike Air on the bottom of it. But um, yeah, like I said before, this is number five. Da -da 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 -da. Can you guess? Can you guess? I got these on the shock drop a pair here, and it is still dead stock. I've been really wanting to wear this pair. I had intentions of wearing this pair. Um, actually in Atlanta because I was supposed to be going. I never said it on my channel because it was going to be like a cool little vlog surprise. But yeah, I was supposed to be going to Atlanta and that didn't really happen. Um, actually, basically twice um, I was supposed to be going and both haven't worked out. But hopefully in next year I'll get to Atlanta. I have a trip coming up which you all will hear about very soon. But I'll wait to talk about it. So this is the pair here. This is number... Where am I at? Number four, I believe. Yeah, this is number four. And they are just beautiful. Like, I love this sneaker. Um, I know I think I said on my review video when I did these that this was my first time owning a pair of Fire Red Fives. But that just goes to show that I think I've gotten to the point of where, not to say I have too many sneakers because you can never have too many sneakers, but I've gotten to the point of where I really have forgotten certain pairs that I have because I remembered when I thought back to like, it was homecoming was coming up i had a pair of these the black pair i think it had the black 23 right here if i'm not mistaken i had that pair and i think the was the tongue black on that pair i don't know it's with fire red fives they have many variations of this sneaker um i really should have had my fours here with me to for under mention type of thing but like i said before i have some other videos in mind so a lot of sneakers that have not been shown on my channel will be shown in due time so that's number that's four top three sneakers so my third pair it's a pair that you just saw on this channel like literally you just saw it but it was so cool and so dope to me i'm like you know what this is gonna make my top 10. i was not planning on it at all i'm not gonna go into it because i just literally talked about this sneaker but i haven't looked at my box since i did the review so you know you know you know you know <laughs> yes we're talking about the joe fresh good converse Chuck 70s Converse All-Stars. Um, so, yet again, you will see this sneaker. It, it's just as dope as when I just redid my review last week. I am in love with this sneaker. Um, I knew it, I wanted it somewhere in my list. Main reason for it being number three is because I wanted to get my hands on a pair of Joe Fresh shoes this year. It just came out, but I really loved it. It was super dope to me, and... Yeah. Number two. 
yes we're coming to an end oh my god are like are y'all gonna miss me until next year i'm gonna miss you all but um <laughs> box can you guess can you guess can you guess are y'all tired of me doing it i'm tired of doing it myself but you know I'm trying to be enthusiastic right now i'm really sleepy but hopefully y'all can't tell that but uh <laughs> Number two on my list, I got this pair on my only exclusive access basically this year that I wanted. About not getting my Grinch sixes. So if you're watching this video and you got this far into the video, um, if you're like, you know, want to be a friend, you want to help me find a Grinch sixes or know someone that has those size six youth or size six and a half youth, let me know. I know that this sneaker is worth a lot of money, it, but you know, I'm a Kobe fan. I've been a Kobe fan my whole life, so I really feel like I deserve this sneaker. <laughs> Why am I pleading to y'all right now? I don't know. Anyway, on to the on to what we're talking about. Okay. It's not other than the Community Dunk Lows, the Lemon Washes. These right here. These are still dead stock. I don't know why they're still dead stock. I really had my mind like, girl, I'm gonna, I can't wait to wear these for fall. I had in my mind when I did my review on these. I'm like, these getting pulled down in the fall. Now we are in the winter. <laughs> they say I'm not gotten worn. I don't know what I have going on, but I just love it. It's basically a denim sneaker. It has um like this mauve burgundyish color. It has this um yellow lemon wash color, which to me um it's like a muted yellow. It's not bright at all. It's not gold. Like it's really like a pastel type yellow, so to speak. You have the denim here, like. The sole is also color as well, but um, yeah, I really like this sneaker. I was happy that I was able to get it. Um, I felt super special that day, <laughs> that whole week really, when they hit me with the exclusive access. I was just like, maybe things are gonna look up, but actually things started to look down because I didn't win anything else on sneakers since, <laughs> so. I guess it's, it was kind of a curse for me. But you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. So, um, yeah, that's, that's number two for you all. So, finally, we're at number one. Um, none other than the Air Jordan 13 Flints. So, Flint 13s, yeah. I wore this sneaker one time. I undies these. I was happy that I did undies because, I mean, when I put the sneaker on, I was like... What have you been waiting for, girl? I was just like, you know, it was so comfortable. It was just the 3M was hitting on it. It was nice. Like, once nighttime hit and I had that flash on them, I was just like, I want to take these off. I literally wore these <laughs> all day long. These are so nostalgic for me. I'm talking too much. These are the sneakers right here. And I love the sneakers so much. This suede here. It's everything for me. Let me twist the tongue around so you all can see it a little better but this is just everything for me i love this color like this is basically denim on a, a jordan like i know that now that denim is a thing it's been put on a lot of like jordan models but this was the beginning where you this is to me this is like the most famous jordan jordan 13 colorway it's honestly not my favorite 13 but it's in the top two. I would say my favorite 13 would maybe be the either He Got Games or the Bread 13s. I'm not really sure. But this is definitely number two. The Flint's come in at number two. Um, slowly but surely, it low-key is come, becoming number one. Because every time I see the sneaker, I'm like really in love with it. But yeah, that's going to round out my number one pick for the year. I hope that you all enjoyed this video. I know that it's pretty long. But you know... I had to end the year off with rambling to you all. I will see you all next year. I'm going to try to get Sneaker Friday back running and back going. We just have to see how it goes. Um, I enjoy getting back into why I kind of wanted to do YouTube in the beginning. And that was sneakers. And then I delved into like the beauty side of it. My vlog side. Like it's just a lot of me. Which is why my channels and my social media page is called Life is Aisha. Because there's so many different layers to Aisha. Which is I. You know what I'm saying? So um, also if you haven't already. Follow me on my sneaker page. Soul of Kicks. I love that page. I'm honestly on it more than my actual page. I didn't see things going like that, but it is what it is. Like, 
sneakers are life and life is Aisha. Get it? Got it? Yeah. So, um, yeah, that's going to bring us to end this video. Happy New Year to everyone. I'll see you all next year. Cheers to 2021. Cheers to Prosperity Grove. Cheers to Wealth and Health. Cheers to Sneakers. Cheers to not taking any more L's, which is really not possible, but cheers to wins. Just, just, just be great. Get up, wake up, and go be great. I'm going to take that same advice myself. Don't let anyone steer you off your path. Like, do you. <laughs> I would not be good at being a motivational speaker. Just saying. But, um... Yeah, it's been a fun ride. It's been a crazy year, a very unexpected year, but we made it. We're at the end. We did it, Joe. So, yeah, I'm going to see you all next year. I already said that. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.